In this video, we're going to give you an overview of our five-step mobile application development process. Here at Alliance, we develop code, but we don't speak in code. We need to ensure that you understand the process that we're going to follow to develop your application and what that means to your business. The purpose of this video is to clearly explain the proper steps to take from having a great idea to launching a profitable application. Whether you want an iPhone, Facebook or Android application, or just creating something cool for your website. You'll learn why each step is important and you'll learn how each step affects the success of your application. Our five steps of development include specification development, which is the process of defining your requirements. Then we have wireframing, which you can think of as a roadmap with all the paths that a user can take in your application. Imagine that wireframing is like mapping all the clicks on the application. The third step is user interface design, and that is how your application will look to the end user, and also how your admin panel is going to look to the application admin. The fourth step is coding, and that's creating a working first draft of your application. And then our final step is beta testing, and that's where we really get the application ready for public use. All of these steps are critical to the success of the app. Now let's take a deeper look into each step, each one of these steps. The specification process is always the most important step. We'll draw up a detailed specification of your application with you. It's a detailed map of the entire app, the screens, functionality, etc. And once you're happy with the specification, we will provide you with a fixed quotation and time frame for the development. This includes the development from start to finish, including publishing your app on the relevant app store. With wireframing, you want to think about what is the purpose of the application. This is where you identify the goal that the user has in using your application. Maybe it's a game and the goal is to win. As the owner of the app, you need to think how that user's goals match with your brand's revenue. Another thing you need to think about is what's the journey that the users are going to take. Now it's not just a map of the pages of your application, you should also think about how your users are going to feel, what kind of thoughts they're going to have about your brand during the use of your app, and how are those things driving them either closer or further away from your business objective. This keeps you extremely logical and efficient in the design of your application. You know the saying, form follows function. The next step is we look at all these roads and how they fit together and how they relate to each other. What are all of these steps? In this step, we want to anticipate the questions that your users are going to have and map out what those questions will be and how they will be addressed in your application. By making wireframes in our first step, we ensure that every step that follows is as efficient as possible and we immediately know if your project is going to run longer or shorter than we had originally anticipated. The third step is user interface design. Now, few brands understand that how your application looks will affect the adoption in the market. Too many companies are in a rush to get their app to the market, and they skimp on quality design and the user interface, and, and then that destroys the application. If adoption of your app is important, meaning if you want people to actually use it, then you need to take time to create a visually pleasing user, in, user interface. It's pretty tough to market a pretty app, but it's almost impossible to successfully market an ugly one. The next step is coding. Most businesses really don't care about the code details, they just care about the results. And many application development companies want to talk about the code. Here at Alliance, we think it's great to know code, but it's more important to be able to help our customers relate what that code does for their business. And then our final step is beta testing and the launching of the application. We know that you can never catch all of the bugs. It just doesn't happen. There's always something hidden away that needs to be fixed. Any competent person will tell you that a bugged filled application is dead in the water before you even start to market it in the App Store. At Alliance, we keep a group of dedicated beta testers who pretty much try their very best to break your application in the private before it's, being, it, it's released to the rest of the world. So these are all the five steps that we use to make sure that our application process is slick, cost-effective for you, effective for us, and that it works. Thanks for watching.